I just want to tell you a story about what happened to me in Vegas. They say things that happen in Vegas stay in Vegas. Well, in my case, I don't want it to stay in Vegas. I want it to go around the world. I want people to know what happened to me because it's, um, it was life-changing for me. I, um, I was at a family reunion, and my wife and I, we were, it was about, what, 12 in the afternoon, and we were going for a walk. We were walking through the casino, and Marie went to the right, and I went to the left. And I walked about 100 yards, and I felt this circle of pain on my chest. And I fell over dead. And I woke up in this place that was all white. It wasn't light or dark. It was just all white. And I'm wondering to myself, where am I at? What is this place? And I didn't see anything there. And I wondered, where are the creases in the white? Where are the sh shades of white? Where are the colors? Where are the cars? What is this? This isn't a room. There was no contours. There was no nothing there. There was nothing there. And I... I, I just kept wondering, where am I at? And next thing I know, I hear a voice that said, this is your eternity. And I thought to myself, what? This is my eternity? This can't be my eternity. that when I died I'd go to heaven and this sure isn't heaven and I tried to get out of that place I fought I gnashed my teeth which I thought were teeth I just fought and struggled like crazy and I just wanted to get up and run out of that place because I didn't want that to be my eternity and I couldn't run out of that place I couldn't run out of that place because I didn't have any legs. My legs were attached to my body up on the casino floor. And my spirit had left. And it didn't go to heaven. Because I, I, I always thought that, you know, when you die, you go to heaven. I always thought I was going to heaven. And here I end up in this white place where there's nothing. Where's my car? I didn't need a car. I didn't need a watch. There's no time. There's no future. There's no past. There's, there's nothing there. Nothing. There's no color. There was no color there. And you have to have a, a pigment to put in white to make a color. And there's no pigment there. There's nothing there. And I found out later that Satan comes to rob and destroy and take everything you have. And you know, he took everything I had. I had $2,000 in my pocket when I died. I didn't need money down there because there's nothing to buy. There's nowhere to go. There's no movies to see. There's no games to play. There's nothing there. There's no jewelry stores. There's nothing. There's nothing. There's no mountains. There's no grass. There's no nothing there. And I, and I wondered, uh, how did I get here? And I tried to get out of there. I tried to run out, and I couldn't run. Like I said, I didn't have any legs. And uh, next thing I know, I wake up in the trauma unit. I open my eyes, and I see all these ceiling tiles. And I thought to myself, I'm back. I can't believe I'm back. How did I get back? And I closed my eyes and I said, God, what do I have to do so I never go to that place again? And you know, I heard a voice and it was four words. And that voice said, get to know me.
And I asked that question because I didn't know the answer to the question. And I asked God. I didn't ask any doctors. There were no doctors around, no nurses, no nobody. And he answered me. He said, get to know me. And I closed my eyes. And, you know, I, um, I, uh, I believed in God, but believing wasn't enough. He told me, get to know me. And he didn't burden me with any burden, say, go to church, read the Bible, watch TV, uh, Christian TV, uh, read Christian books, listen to Christian. He didn't do any of that. All he said were four words, get to know me. Now, that's God. That's God. Because, see, I have my own free will. God doesn't want me uh, to, uh, he didn't want to put a burden on me. He didn't want to put a burden on me. He just wants me to do what I do and get to know him the way I need to get to know him. And that's what I'm doing. And um, I read in the Bible where it said to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Well, I wasn't present with the Lord. I wasn't present with the Lord. And I didn't go to heaven and all. Now... I read the Bible, I do what God wants me to do. And you know what He wants me to do? He just wants me to love other people. And He wants me to share my story. That's why I came back, is to share my story of hell. And there is a hell. I went to it. And it's the most terrifying seven minutes of my life. I was dead for seven minutes. And I couldn't get out of there. But, you know, see, I have a spirit and God has a spirit. God is a spirit. He doesn't have a body. I have a body. And my spirit is confined in my body. But God can go anywhere. God is everywhere. I can't. You can't. We, none of us can. But God can. God doesn't have any boundaries. He went to hell to pull me out of hell. Because he loved me so much. And he knew I didn't understand. I didn't have understanding of shedding of the blood of Jesus meant. I didn't understand what it meant. And I would have died and went to hell. But see, Jesus came and shed his blood for our sins. for our, So we wouldn't... Uh, for forgiveness. God wants us all in heaven. He, and, and I'm back here now. Telling people that there is a hell. And just by believing isn't enough. I believe that I went to hell. You have to know God. You have to know Jesus as your personal Savior. No, He died on the cross for you and He rose from the dead. And he's sitting at the right hand of God now. I see God everywhere. I just want to let everybody here know that God told me that all I needed to do to avoid hell and that terrible place I was in is to get to know him. Simple, isn't it? Well, that's just the way it is. Just get to know God any way you want to get to know Him. Any way you want to get to know Him. And little by little, you take these little steps here, little steps there, and you're going to know God. You're going to know uh, what, what He does for you, how He loves you, how He loves all of us. It's, it's an amazing thing. Because God loved me so much, I want other people to know God, you know, a guy like that, you know. Got it. Can love a guy like me, can love anybody, you know. He's a good guy. Yeah, he's a good guy.